Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tetra Ninja and it is finally time to unbox the next generation of consoles. And no, the Nintendo Wii U did not count last year. Anyways, this is going to be kind of a pseudo unboxing, you'll find out more about that later. But anyways, this is the PlayStation 4 retail version, this is the 500 gigabyte model. We have some PlayStation 4 games here, we have Killzone Shadowfall, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, and Battlefield 4. I will be definitely checking out what these games look like on this generation of console. And for accessory wise, we also have another PlayStation 4 DualShock controller that I bought extra a couple weeks ago. And for size comparison, we have the soon to be antiquated PlayStation 3 that will be replaced very, very quickly. And its spot's gonna be taken by this PlayStation 4 on my entertainment unit. unit. But it has had a good run. It, the, this console generation has lasted quite a bit the PlayStation 3 was released seven years ago, so that's a fairly long overdue time for a refresh. But this is the retail packaging, so this is the front, pretty standard. And we'll give her the old spin to the backs, and there really isn't anything on the back. We have art illustrations of Knack, Assassin's Creed, Infamous Second Son, and as well as Watch Dogs. All very good titles that I can't wait to play on this generation of console. So yeah, what I meant by pseudo unboxing from earlier is that I've kind of already opened the box and then I thought once I went to when I went to edit the video, we had a lot of rustling sounds because my mic flipped inside my shirt, which made the video pretty much unaudible. So we're just going to do this again. So we'll open her up. I don't have to break the seal, <laughs> luckily. Breaking the seal is never a good thing, especially when you're at a dingy bar. So that is the outer shell of the case. Then we have the inner shell, which has yet another seal that needed to be slit. And then we open her up right here. So in terms of accessories, what do you get? So we get a 30 day trial of PlayStation Plus. So PlayStation Plus has actually been a fairly solid deal in terms of a subscription-based model. One major change though from this generation to the last generation is that now if you want to play online multiplayer games, you will need a PlayStation Plus account to play online against other people. I know that's kind of, it used to be free, but PlayStation Plus is a great deal. You do get a lot of free games with it. It's a lot better model so far anyways, until Microsoft proves me wrong than the Xbox 360 Xbox gold account because you get a lot of free games with PlayStation Plus, so you can't go wrong. Also, you get an instruction manual, which is always handy that you'll never read, trust me. <laughs> then you also have your micro USB cable. This cable is what you will need to connect your DualShock 4 controller to and charge it and sync it up. So that is pretty much an essential right there. You also get, I was actually surprised about this, you actually get a handy dandy HDMI cable. These were not included last generation with either the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3. So it's always nice to have these lying around even though I have like a million of them, but you can never have too many HDMI cables, right? I assume uh, it's further along in this whole high definition thing that we're doing. It's always nice to have one hanging around. And Sony learned their lesson this time around by actually including a headset with every single console. So Xbox did a great last, last generation in that they included a headset with every single Xbox 360 that they sent to market, which really promoted their online multiplayer gaming space. So, and then Sony decided to, to do the stupid thing where you had to buy a Bluetooth microphone, which sounded absolutely atrocious and no one liked it at all. So nice that they started including a headset, even though it is an earbud, I would have preferred an over the ear cushion because not all earbuds fit everyone. Everyone's ears is a little bit different, but at least they're trying, right? So it comes with an audio jack which plugs directly underneath the DualShock 4, and that's how you connect a headset to a PlayStation 3. And I also proved this in another video that you can actually use a PlayStation 4 controller with a PlayStation 3, but the only thing you cannot do is you can't use it wirelessly. It has to be with the micro USB connected directly to the PlayStation 3. So that's it in terms of accessories. So for the main event, we'll put this away. Put this box down, slip it to the side here. 
What you guys are here for is the main event, which is the actual console itself, which is behind this desk. So, and it's making beeping noises at me. So what you'll notice immediately when you see the console is that you have this, this really high gloss area, which is kind of a fingerprint magnet. If I do this, you'll see already, it's already actually collecting a little bit of dust, but it looked really, really good at the box, but you're probably going to be brushing this thing a lot. So in terms of front IO, we have the optical bay, and then we also have two super speed 3.0 ports at the very front, which are always nice to have. One thing that you want to take note is that unlike the last generation, you cannot use an external hard drive to store your game saves as well as your installations for your games. I know that kind of sucks, but it's kind of, I, I'm assuming some sort of security method that you will, cannot have to, uh, that you cannot use it that way anymore. But you can still use, you can store different types of files like video, audio files, which you can't access through an external hard drive, but you just can't use it for game saves and all that kind of stuff. So. So flipping it to the back, we will go to the back here. What you'll see is these huge exhaust fans located at the very back of the system. And you'll have, in terms of rear I.O., we have USB, Ethernet, HDMI, optical out, and obviously the power adapter jack right there. So it's actually designed in kind of like a parallelogram sort of fashion. So we will actually plug this in and we'll power her on and you'll see what it looks like when it is on in its full glory and where's the power button is located right here and you'll see it has that nice blue glow to it which is pretty sweet i'm assuming the the bar is going to change colors eventually depending on what you're doing with the console but yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of internal storage. So right now there's only one model available and that is the 500 gigabyte model. And that being said, you still can upgrade the hard drive just as easily as you could do with the PlayStation 3 with a laptop two and a half inch drive. But we're kind of at the point where 500 gigabytes is an odd place because these game saves are huge. Installations for these games are massive and with online media going the way it is, you're going to be downloading a lot of videos, a lot of other things as well. 500 gigabytes is, in the future is not going to get us very far. But that being said, it is fully upgradable. I assume next year we're probably going to be getting one terabyte models, but there really isn't any sense to upgrade the, the internal storage right now. There is a little bit kind of, you could go with an SSD, but that being said, you cannot really warrant it because SSDs, just like with PCs, they don't increase the raw FPS performance of your game. You won't, while you're in game, you won't know, notice the difference between a hard drive or an SSD. The only time you'll notice a hard drive, the difference is when you're actually booting up the system for the first time or you're at load points. That's really the, the only time that an SSD will kind of shine and kind of differentiate itself, but it will not give you more frames per second or anything like that. But, and, but at the same token as well, SSDs range around this time about a dollar a gigabyte. So just to match the internal storage that is currently in the PlayStation 3 right now, you'd be spending 500 bucks to get 500 gigabytes worth of SSD space. So especially since this is only a $400 system, I can't really warrant it for shorter load times and a quicker boot up. If you were going to upgrade, I would what I would recommend is probably be a Seagate Momentus XT. It is a hybrid drive between a mechanical hard drive as well as an SSD. You can get them in 750 to one terabyte models, I think. That's what I'm kind of using in my old MacBooks right now, my MacBook Pros. But still 500 gigabytes, I'd say should hold you for at least the next couple months. If you want to upgrade, then those are the hard drives that I suggest you go with. So. Let's do size comparison wise. So we have obviously the PlayStation 4 right here. Then we have, oh, we have, that opened up on me, a super slim PlayStation 3. We'll stack them evenly like that. And then we also have off into the corner, we have a slim PS3. Unfortunately, due to the yellow ring of death, I do not have my rest in peace. <laughs> 
original fat PlayStation 3 that I got on launch, which was backwards compatible with PlayStation 2 games. But we have the other two, so I think that's good enough. So rear-wise, make sure I stack these back to back. So from a side view-wise, this is what they look like. In terms of width, that's the front. Here's the back. Okay. Now let's try to be Bob the Builder here and not break something. We will stack them on top of each other in a sandwich type fashion. So here's the front. I'll do this one. And then the last one right here. So that's what they look like when they're all st when you have multiple PlayStation stacked on top of each other. It's kind of just fun to look at. We'll do a little rotation. And there we go. Oh, that almost slid off. <laughs> Careful! <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's going to be it for the unboxing, kind of unboxing of the PlayStation 4. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I will also be doing an unboxing of the Xbox 360, well, Xbox One, sorry, next week. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. You can look forward to more PlayStation 4 content, such as these games right here on my channel. So if you enjoyed the video, as always, drop the video a quick rating. And if you're new to the channel, and if this is the first video of mine you're watching, be sure to subscribe for more content. And other than that, as always, have a fantastic day.